And that's what I want to encourage you with. You are not too far gone, my man. Like this, the altar call right now. We done with the sermon. Let's get to business. This, the altar call. You ain't too far gone. You can't run far enough. You can't work bad enough. God wants you. He hung on a cross that he might gain you. And he'll do whatever he's got to do. He's a stronger man. If he's got to tie up everything else in your life where you hit them knees and you got nothing left to do but look up, that's what he's trying to get you to, my man. And he will. He'll put you to them knees. He ain't above that. I promise you. I've been there a couple times. He'll do whatever it takes to get you. He'll woo you nicely or he'll woo you not so nicely. But he's going to get your attention one way or the other. You're going to have to make a decision. And if you're ready to experience a living dream, a promise keeper, if you're really uh, ready to accept this Prince of Peace that changes everything, it's time to do it, my man. And to do that, all you've got to do is repent of them sins. Hit them knees. You down there already? I know you are because this life ain't no good without Jesus. It ain't made to be lived without him. So if you're on their knees, you might as well be repenting. You might as well be finding the way to life. And if you repent of them sins, if you believe in that heart and confess with that mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved, my man. Why? Because his dream lives. His promises are kept because he lives. And Jesus is the only name that saves a man because he is the only one the grave cannot keep. Muhammad dead and gone. Buddha buried. I promise you, they ain't coming back. But our Savior, our Savior rose victoriously from that grave. And he still lives today. And because he lives, his purposes still live. His plan still lives. His love still alive. And his love for you is so great. Mm. It's so great that he will do anything and everything to gain you. Whatever it costs, you're worth more than all that he'll spend on you. I promise. You are the treasure, the apple of his eye, and he's going to get your attention. So I pray if this is your day, relent. Let him have you. Let him have you and experience this life-giving promise that he has for you. What promise? Salvation, forgiveness, eternity, family, love, grace, peace, joy. It's exhaustless, peoples, because we don't know the facets of our God. He is bigger than we've ever dreamed. He can gain and do whatever he pleases because he is the living one. So I pray if you need him, call on him. And I pray if you got him, believe in him. Not just that he exists, but like my little boy, I believe in you, daddy. Believe in him that he could do what he has told you he would do. That he could save that family. That he can reconcile that marriage. That he can put you back up to where you fell from. That he can restore. Believe in him because he is still able. All right? God bless.